it can take up to two years to get seeds from your kale plant. So if you want to grow kale without any seeds, watch on and I'll show you how to do it from cuttings. So my last brassica video was showing you how to grow cabbages from leaves. Growing kale from cuttings is a little bit simpler and all you're going to need to do this process is a set of secateurs or snips. You'll need a potting tray with some seed raising mix in it and you'll need a parent plant which in this case is a kale plant that was pulled out of the garden because it was being absolutely thrashed by cabbage moth. So there's a series of nodes running up and down the stem of the kale plant. So all I'm going to do is cut below a node, like so. I've counted up a couple of nodes on each one. I'll cut above a node. And all I'll do is with the piece that I've cut off, I'll pop that up. Now these are fairly hardy, and as I cut them off, they're going to fly everywhere, but they are going to survive regardless. If I want to work my way the full way up the stem, I'd need to remove all the leaves. But I'm just going to trim off the first few little sections of stem and then I'll repeat the same process with other sections of my kale plant. All I'm going to do now is pot them up in my seed raising mix. You can see I've already pre-dibbled holes so I need to know which way up the cutting goes and you can generally tell that by the direction the leaves are growing upwards in. I'm going to place them into each and every dibbled section and then move the potting soil in and around them. Now by moving the potting soil in and around them, we're going to guarantee that there will be moisture being wicked up from beneath the potting mix. And that moisture will prevent them drying out and will assist in the formation of roots and the survival of roots once they actually take. As you can see, based on this cutting on the end, we have a healthy root system and three sets of leaves coming out of the side of our cutting. This is a healthy little cutting. This is starting to yellow in the leaves, showing that it needs a little bit of additional sunlight and a little bit of additional food, but it will definitely thrive once potted up. As you look across the tray, you'll notice the cuttings on the right hand side are a little bit smaller. These cuttings here use the energy in the stalks to produce leaves from the top, but were unable to produce roots from the bottom. Overall, we have about a 70% strike rate in this tray in terms of producing roots and producing shoots. Despite that, it is very, very clear that you can take a single branch from a kale plant, dice it up into small segments and plant them on, and that single branch will produce nice, healthy little kale cuttings, just like these guys. If you have any questions about what I did here, pop it in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck growing your kale.